Good morning. My name is Miss Barry, and I'm going to read you a story that Mrs. Turpin and Miss Shane gave us um, about maybe a month ago. It's called Clark the Shark. And it looks like Clark the Shark, I think he's in school. And he's got a paper, and he's got some pencil, and he's got a big smile on his face. And let's see what happens to Clark the Shark when he's at school. And this reminds me of another book that I read at the beginning of the, of the year, First Day of School. This is written by Bruce Hale and illustrated by Guy Francis. Let's see what happens to Clark the Shark. Oh, there he is. There's Clark the Shark. Here goes the school bus. Looks like a submarine. School bus. And it looks like they're dropping them off at school. This big, huge ship that has sunk. Let's see what it says. Theodore Roosterfish Elementary. That's quite a silly name, Roosterfish. And it looks like that there's the teacher, the octopus, and all of the other fish are coming to school. Even Clark. In all the wide blue seas, in all the wide blue world, the top school for fish was Theater Roosterfish Elementary. And all of the fish at Theater Roosterfish the biggest and the strongest, the biggest and the strongest was Clark the Shark. Ooh, here's the teacher. Clark loved school and he loved his teacher, Mrs. Inky Dink. That's a silly name. He loved to play upsy downsy and spin a jig with his friends. Clark loved his life. Looks like he's his. I don't know about all of his friends, though. Hmm. I might want to predict something right now, but I'm not sure yet. School is awesome! Shouted Clark the Shark. Less shouting and more reading, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Lunchtime is sweet, yelled Clark the Shark. Munch your own lunch, said the best friend, Joey Macro. Recess rocks, bellowed Clark the Shark. You are playing rough, Clark, cried the other kids. Ooh, I think I'm going to make my prediction, boys and girls. Maybe Clark the Shark is getting too rough. And maybe the kids aren't going to like it. Or I should say the fish, his friends. Let's see what happens. Yes, Clark loved his life with all of his shucky heart. But he loved everything way too much. He was too loud. He was too wild. He was just too much shark for the other fish to handle. After a while, no one would pay, play with him. No one ate lunch with him. No one sat with him at the circle time. Even his best friend Joey Mackerel said, Cool your jets, Clark. You're making me crazy. Wow, this does sound exactly like I, the book I read at the beginning of the year. Hmm. Something about a dinosaur going to school, eating all the children. Huh. Well, I'll look at Clark, though. He doesn't look too happy. Hmm, I guess his friends had enough. One day, Clark asked Mrs. Inky Dink, What's wrong with everyone? Mrs. Inky Dink patted his fin. Clark, sometimes you play too hard. You munch too hard. And gosh, you even help too hard. But life is so exciting, said Clark. There's a time and a place for everything, said Mrs. Zinky Dink. And sometimes the rule is stay cool. 
Stay cool. At recess, Clock tried to stay cool, but he pushed the swing with too much zing. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. Yikes, cried Joey Macro. Joey Macro. At lunch, Clark tried to stay cool, but everything smelled so good that he munched a bunch of lunches. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. We're starving, said his friends. In class, Clark tried to stay cool, but a good book got him all shook up. Now, Clark, said Mrs. Inkydink, this isn't the time or the place. Tell me, what's the rule? Stay cool, said Clark. Hey, that rhymes, he cried. Then Clark got a big idea. He had a aha moment. <gasps> he got an idea. Aha uh -huh, moment in his sharky head. Maybe if I make a rhyme, I'll remember every time, he thought. The next day, he put his plan to work. In class, when lessons got exciting, Clark wanted to bounce up out of his seat. Instead, he told himself, when teachers talk when teachers talking don't go walking that's a great rhyme and what do you know it worked at a boy clark said mrs inky dink clark smiled lessons are fun at lunchtime everything smelled so yummy when clark wanted to eat and eat and never stop he told himself only munch, your own lunch. And it worked again. Way to go, Clark, said his friends. Clark grinned. Lunch is fun. At playtime, Clark told himself, easy does it, that's the way. Then my friends will let me play. And playtime was fun. Once more, Clark loved his life. Uh-oh, we have a new character. Hmm, wonder what this character is all about. Let's see. But then a shadow fell across the playground. A ginormous shadow with technicals, technicals, tentacles galore. It's a new kid. And he looks scary, cried Joey Macro. Swim for your lives! The squid squashed the slide and it snapped up the swings. Whoops, my bad, said the new kid. Uh-oh, this new kid <gasps> needs a little help. I'm wondering. <gasps> Let's see. Wait, said Clark. He just wants to play. Let's find a way. And he swam at the new kid with all of his might. Clark played harder than he had ever had before. Upsy, downsy, and spin a jig. Spin a jig. Why, he even made up a new game, Tail Wampa Lumpus. Wow, that was fun, said the new kid breathlessly. And he settled down. If you want to come to school, you've got to stay cool said Clark. You think he's going to want to come to school? Clark taught him a lot. Clark taught him what his teacher taught him. That's right, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink, and thanks for taking care of our new classmate, Sid the Squid. Hooray for Clark the Shark, everyone cheered. Phew, that was a close one. Here comes the school bus. That night, Clark's mother asked, What did you learn at school, dear? There's a time and a place for everything, Clark said. Sometimes you stay cool. But sometimes...
A shark's got to do what a shark's got to do and play. What a great lesson to be patient and be helpful and playful. And then when you get home, you can play the way you want to play. Thank you for listening. See you soon. Thank you.